sitting up as tall as I can. <laughs> Miss Lee, you were talking when I started the show. Have you quit talking? No, I got it. Oh, now you want me to talk. Yeah. Hi. Whoa. We finished the economics. I'm now working on that as a, as a course that can be multiplied. And we're back to the life of Christ in stereo. So it's time for class. Well, today we're going to be talking about a really important time. And there's you certain, say that for everything. There, in the life of Christ. <laughs> there's really... Uh, the, the title in the Life of Christ in Stereo, and what we're doing is the Life of Christ in Stereo, which is in case anybody a historical development of how Christ lived as a human. Basically, he laid aside his rights as God and became a man. And that is really important here in this passage we're going to re be studying. Uh, it's the hour of the power of darkness is the title. <coughs> <coughs> and I guess I'm coughing. It's chapter 20 in the book, section 143. And in it, we're studying Matthew 26, 36 through 43, Mark 4, 32, 23 through 42, Luke 22, 40 through 46, and John 18, 1. Now, the reason all those passages, because the Life Crisis Stereo combines all those passages as a as you would take your fingers and put them together interlocking both hands it's kind of like remember when you're a kid you did something you made the circle yeah. or something yeah. i can't even remember how to yeah. do it anymore it's like that it's all interesting and so it's a very interesting way to study the life of christ and that's what we're doing so um this is a long section today that's why i'm taking a little time to introduce it there's a lot of reading, and we're not going to have quite as much talking because I want to just emphasize a couple little things that are important here. Okay, okay, now we're starting with not my will, but thine. Then came Jesus with them across the brook Kidron, where there was a garden, a place called Gethsemane. Now with them, that's the disciples, the disciples he's right. with. Yeah. Into which he and his disciples entered. And when he had arrived at the place, he said to them, Sit here while I go yonder and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, James okay, so and John, he divided the group, and some stayed out in the outer court, and some went in with him a bit farther. Okay. Taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, James and John, he began to be sorrowful and amazed and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, <clears throat> My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Remain here and watch with me. Pray that you enter not into temptation. Okay, now this is interesting. Here, so he goes farther in still. Yeah, he goes farther. He's going to go farther in. But he is distressed. He's kind of depressed. Yeah. He calls it, is the word distressed? Exceedingly sorrowful. Exceedingly sorrowful. He's Even kind of, unto death. He's kind of down to the point. It, today, that would oh, be... It did say before, sorrowful, amazed, and deeply distressed. Yeah. He, he's, And see, that's where today people think, oh, I just got to be up and happy all the time. No, there's times you go through... Mourning. Mourning and temptation right, and yeah. troubles... And which way to go, and you know, those are real in life. Not everything is the party, okay? Happy, happy, happy. And it's not everything is resurrection day. Not everything is just you say it so you it'll happen. It's not magic. This is real life, and Jesus is teaching this to his disciples, and he's teaching this very important principle to to pray. A lot of people will say, like especially on. Facebook, you see a lot of it, social media. Just choose to be happy. Just choose to be happy. 
and, and it is good to choose to be happy. Yeah, but, we do choose to be happy. I mean, you can choose to be grumpy and yeah. icky person. We have that power. But, but there are times That's right. that cause, and Jesus shows us, there's times of distress and heartbreak and terrible, you know. There's external things that come on you. They could be the distress of the world, like an army could be invading and you're about to die and be tortured and... That wouldn't be a happy time. No, you can go, oh, I'm yeah. so happy about But this. also, that's what's about to happen to Jesus. But mm -hmm. he's seeing the this inner thing that that is happening behind the curtain. Now, it's interesting. He tells uh, Peter, James, and John, pray so that you don't enter into temptation. Now, what does that mean? What, what are they going to do that they're going to be entered into temptation? Well, later in the, in the passage, it says the, flesh is, the, the, the spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. The temptation is to let your flesh take over. And I'm sure they had no idea. What in the world is he talking he, he, about? Because he did, they didn't get it. What no, kind of they, temptation? They didn't get it. They, and no, we follow you. So, not, so let's okay. move on because he, right. he's, it, this and, is long. And going forward from them a little farther, about a stone's throw, he so knelt down it on was the not, ground. It was nighttime, uh, and they could see him, but it was more silhouetted. It was like kind of dark. Okay. So Jesus fell on his face and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. So he, they could hear him apparently too. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. My Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. That is so important because he, he calls on God as his daddy, mm -hmm. Abba. Is daddy, daddy, da, you know, Abba, father, daddy, daddy, yep. daddy, daddy. I, I don't, I, 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 can't make this. I can't handle this. And that's sometimes the way we pray. You know, when we get in these attack situations, it could be human attack, it could be a personal emotional attack, or in this case, it was demonic attack. He yeah. was, he was, he, he, and he's calling on God, and he said something, and this is kind of perplexing. Uh, He's calling on his father, and he reasons with his father. What was the reason he gave? If it's possible. And all things are possible. Let this cup pass See, for me. it's not if it's possible, and maybe it is, maybe it isn't. No, you have the power. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, but It is so overwhelming. So why would God it. want this plan? It's so torturous to his son the only thing that could save us well that's kind of not the reasoning here that jesus is doing maybe you're right i you know that's kind of the traditional way to say it but i think he's saying to jesus see jesus is doing more than saving us jesus is becoming a whole new humanity mm -hmm. uh, the new man and god had a plan to bring this about and to exalt his son. He wanted his son to become uh, the the king, the whole new man king. Okay. But then he goes on to say, Nevertheless, <coughs> even though I don't even want to do this. Not as I want to do. Yeah, I know. He goes to, to that, not my will, but thine. Mm -hmm. But here again, he's reasoning with the father. Uh, and his, his thing is, and God, you got all the power. You know, I mean, he's not, he, and he's not questioning that. Mm -hmm. He says, you do. You could find another way. Well, also is he shows us the way we perfect our soul. And this is a good lesson for us because we sometimes wonder, why are we going through this? Uh, you know, why don't we just have a magic answer? Why can't we just say a magic word and it all go away? Because this is the pattern he's actually building for the future humanity of the new man. I mean, that's a... That's, and, and he's telling us these things so that we know what we're Well, he's letting the disciples see all this. But, so Jesus is, is not... See, this whole idea, oh, you just got to have faith and just you just got to believe no matter what. No, he reasoned with the Father. And that's what we do in prayer. We reason with the Father, and, and it's not unreasonable to do that. That's that, why I've always 
I've always said, you know, you can argue with God. You can be mad at him. Yeah. He's big enough to handle yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And I have been. I was very in, mad at God at a time in my life. And I told him so. In a sense. Oh, yeah. In a sense, he's letting us see this. Because the, these three disciples were there and they wrote about it. That's why we get this, mm -hmm. this stuff. Um, and it reveals to us how to deal with life. But let's go on, because this gets okay. more intense. And he came to the disciples, so and he found them. So he quit them, praying, and he came praying. back, yeah. He came to the disciples, and he found them sleeping, and said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? So you could not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh that's, is weak. That's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. And see... What Jesus was pointing out to the disciples, we all have this inner battle too. Jesus was de dealing with this external battle of Satan attacking him. All uh, the power. And he he didn't have darkness. a he didn't have a sin nature, but he didn't want to do death either. Yeah. Death was what he was facing, and he didn't have to die. But see, he was born to die. Yeah. And that was God's will for him and this to die. Really confuses people. Sometimes. And and the reason is. Because he laid aside his rights as God. He was all-knowing, all-powerful, all-present before the world started. And he's laid that aside. And if he'd have picked that up, it, he would have been a come, he'd have sinned. Because it wasn't the will, this purpose. It wasn't what he was here for. And so many times, there's things that are a little bit, how would we say, not, not as clear. It's not like, thou yes, shalt not no. lie. Yeah, not yes or no. It's it's a calling, it's a purpose, and we we have to uh, realize that we 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 got to know, we we got to continue to obey God, and I I think it just real quickly I'll bring this in because as we're older we gave up the nonprofit we quit raising money and all that entails, and then we realized we wanted to continue to do ministry, so we started the gifting thing and we started our economics and we started our podcast and we started doing some other things but we didn't have enough money coming in because we're living on social security and it's really minimal and we in the last three months have been praying Lord should we get a job right and we just before we start each day we go through our prayer list and Lee came to that uh, what, how, what, how, what did it say? I, I'm it trying to remember. Uh, what Lord, was our, on our list? asking whether Dan should get, get a, a job, job for the not. next four months. Yeah, Help just, just to kind of get us back on our feet. Yeah. And, and, uh, you and were, I said, I said, well, do we still want to pray about this? Yeah. And you said, no, it's been answered. It, and it had been. Because <laughs> to make a long story short, I did get a job. It was unbelievably, horribly bad. <laughs> It was so awful, and it almost cost me my health. Uh, and I did a lot of I did a lot of other things, and it all kept going wrong. Mm -hmm. And the Lord showed us, and we came to the conclusion: well, you know, maybe we just need to. And one of our one of our old friends even suggested, why don't you just put on your web page how to gift you? And I've done that, so we're just going to live on gifts. Uh, it, you know, we have our Social Security, but to do ministry. You know, to have the gas and have the have the internet have the stuff, that run. have the computers that make it. I mean, there's technology. Have the microphones that actually work, so you don't have to sit here perfectly yeah. straight and shout the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And 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 so, in other words, the Lord has answered our prayer. So we have shifted back from making a little money this way and doing this little and doing a little writing to okay, in our retirement, we're publicly announcing that we are living as faith missionaries. We have our social security that is our base, mm -hmm. and it gives us our food, and it gives us our lodging, but it doesn't give us the money for, for anything else. ministry. Yeah. And that's why we need our gifters. Right. And the way you do that, you go to our webpage at theroddenreporter.com, uh, and I'll have a new webpage for you to go to real soon uh, that gives you links to, to gift.
Okay, well, that's in the middle now of Jesus praying, getting ready to so, die for so us. The te- but we were going through that temptation. Yeah, we it was, didn't, just didn't know what to it, do. It was difficult. It was stressful, and, and you know, and the Lord interacted. Yeah. And, and he said, answered us. He said, you don't, don't do that. I'll, I'll care for you, like and, he always and has. And it's amazing because he does... He just keeps providing the weirdest ways. Weirdest that we don't ways. Ever yeah, we. You always pray and you think, well, he'll do some. This donor. He'll give me a this, little job to pay for this. Yeah. No, and he it, does it another way. It's so. just the way the Lord does it. Okay. So to show he's on. doing it. Right. But keep reading. And again, a second time, he went off and prayed, saying, "My Father, if Thou art willing, take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, if this cannot pass from me unless I drink it." Not my will, but thine be done. Now, both times he said, not my will, but thine. And drink it is an interesting thing because it's a little more than let it happen to me. It really comes into your whole, whole body. being. Your, yeah, and it's it, food into yeah. your body. Well, and, it's like, you think if you drank poison, it comes into your body yeah, and it kills you. Yeah, so, yeah. It, when he drinks it, it's And that's it's what death, that's what death was to Jesus. It yeah. was going to be poison. That was going, that was really bad. And there appeared unto him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. Okay, now that's important. Lee, you want to say something here? Well, I was going to say, you know, here, God knows us. And he provides us with what we need at our moment of distress or Mm -hmm. joy or whatever. And he knew that the Lord needed an angel to strengthen him at that point. So here's God that's become a man that needed an angelic person to come and assist him. Besides, he needed his disciples to pray for him. Mm-hmm. So it isn't like one versus the other. Yeah, it's uh, together. It's, it's, it's this dance of all these things that God does. Uh, the word, the angels, God himself, his purpose, all these things work together. It's Sometimes not, things that... I mean, we just really don't understand. We just don't understand them. So here Jesus is, but always the key, and this is the key. It's not. It's it. It's not so much that you. What Jesus didn't say. Oh, and God, Father, if you'll do this, I'll I'll pray more. Yeah. If you'll do this, I'll read my Bible more. Yeah, you can. If you'll do this, I'll, I'll attend synagogue more. See, it wasn't... It's not a bargain with God. Well, also, no, Jesus said, I'll keep my heart to you. Uh Not my will, but but thine. thine. See, that's the problem we have. It isn't that we don't do the right things, all the little perfect details. We don't read our Bible enough. See, everybody likes... Churches are very good. This is where churchism is very good. It's well, the reason you're having a problem, you're not reading your Bible, or you're not tithing. You're not giving enough money. See, there's all these little things. No... God gives us stuff by grace. Right. It, it isn't because we earn it. We don't earn any of the stuff we get. But what we have that we can't, we can do something about is, and, and what Israel failed to constantly do something about is keep our heart toward God. And that's what Jesus is demonstrating here. He did that. And being in an agony, he prayed the more earnestly, and his sweat became, as it were, great drops of blood falling down. Okay, so now we have an angel holding him up. Strengthening. We have his yeah. disciples over here being asked to pray for him, but they're failing. And he falls asleep. And and we have now his flesh is so stressed by this. This isn't the abundant Christian life. This isn't. This is suffering. Let's center on I'll be name happy. it and claim it. I'll just Let's say, be God, happy. be gone. No, it doesn't work that way. Uh-huh. You have to go through this suffering. And and sometimes we do too. And But God is there. His angels are there. His word is there. Others are praying for us we don't even know about. Right. All these things are working together for his purpose. The dance is happening and we are the dancer here in this in this case, and Jesus was here. And when he rose up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping again for Third sorrow. time, third time. For their eyes were heavy, <clears throat> and he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise up and pray so that you may not enter into temptation. So what's interesting... He keeps telling them that. They're being tempted. It's like he, he wasn't praying for his own temptation. 
praying for them. See, he, as the, and that's the key of a discipler. You really are not praying for yourself when you're praying for yourself. Now, he prayed, Father, let this, let this leave me, okay? And he reasoned with God why it could happen, and he struggled with this. But he was really concerned about these other people. And that's the sign of a real disciple. And that's the model of discipleship. It's not just evangelism, walk up, give somebody pray, walk away, and it's all over. Because it. it's a struggle to work with people that are imperfect. Jesus is struggling to work with these people that are imperfect. It, 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 it hurt him that they, they didn't pray. And they knew not what to answer him. So he left them and went off again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing as before. To the Father. Mm -hmm. Reasoning with the Father, <clears throat> struggling, but drops of blood. I don't want to do this, but yeah. let it be your will, yeah. not what I want. Then he came to the disciples the third time and said to them, Are you sleeping even now and taking your rest? It is enough. Behold, the hour has come, and the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Lo, my betrayer is at hand. Very, very key. Jesus, even though others failed him, this is the ultimate. The Father didn't fail him. No. But the Father's not a human walking on earth. He's the only God human walking on earth. And Jesus, only friends he has. These are his They're best friends. They're falling asleep. And they, are, they don't even stay awake for this little time of his praying with drops of blood coming out of his head. And they could see it. Yeah, I'm sure they could. And, you know, how disappointing. And this is, this is a lesson for a father or a mother, or anyone in leadership in Christianity. You will, you will lead and people will desert you. Yeah. They won't pray. They won't do the right thing. They won't, they won't live the way you just taught them to live. That's not your problem. Your problem is going to the cross. And that's why Jesus finally says, okay, you're not going to do this. But we're going to go to the cross. Here we go. Let's go. He, he just says, here we go. Put your, put, put your belts on. Get your sandals yeah. going. The deceiver's coming. We're going to go do this. Right here. We're, right here. We're going to go do this. Yeah. So this is a good example and teaching for us as believers how to deal with this. Because Jesus was dealing with this like we do. He is living as a finite human that only has the word. He has the angelic host. He has his relationship with the Father. We all have that. We have our brethren. We have our, he had a, there was a synagogue. I'm sure he attended many times. Oh, he went to many synagogues yeah. and he taught. They didn't stand with them. They all turned on him too. So don't. The thousands of people that he fed. Yeah. So here we are at the end of this period. And Jesus has now gone through the horrible temptation of, 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 of not... Of doing what he wanted. Doing what he was born to do. That's the best way to say this. And we are all born to do something. And it's very easy to be tempted by alcohol, by sexual promiscuity, by love of other people. Wanting, you know, well, guys, let's go party. You know, just hanging out with the buddies. To do the alternative task. And we used to teach that to our staff, that the biggest enemy of doing the right thing is alternative task, doing good things that weren't our purpose. And that's where the problem is. Because for most Christians, it's not a choice of doing a bad or a good thing. They'll choose to do that's a right. good thing. But are you doing the it, thing is you're called it, Is to it do? the calling? Right. Is it the thing that right. you should be doing now? And that is a great temptation. For believers. And that's part of this <coughs> thing that we were praying for, should Dan get a job. Yeah, it was a good thing. And it's a, it's, it was a bad thing. And, it, yeah. and it's the normal thing. Right. The normal thing for a person to do is to work, make money, and sustain themselves. Now, we've lived as faith missionaries because of a calling. The Lord in, in 1970 70. called us to leave our nets and go and live. And then we did that for 50 years. 
and then we retired. So we were just kind of, okay, we have the Social Security that's now our supporter. And, and you know, it's not a lot, but we never had a lot anyway. Yeah. Uh, so we were going to retire and just do a little writing here and there. And it's come to the point now we have some things we really think need to be said, uh, particularly about biblical economics. So we pray that you will think of gifting us. And you can go to our webpage and learn all about that. Well, Lee, it's been good. This is the end of our Sunday class. Okay, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Lee, Lee, Lee has forgotten this is, you got to talk. It is a, yeah, shake your head. It's the end. But we all love you, Lee. They're still praying. Or they're still praying. I think they're still praying for you. I mean, class is over.